Hey guys, uh, once again it's Bizmodo. Uh, today I'm on the Teo Teo Zoomer. Uh, just gonna go for a little ride to my sisters real quick. My brother came up from Chicago. We went and picked him up, and he wanted me to go drive over there and show him my scooters, and he wants to see my motorcycles eventually too. So, but today uh, he's gonna get to see the scooter. But yeah, this is, uh, I'm not sure how good this thing's going to be. I hope it doesn't blow up because it'll be a long walk home if it does. Uh, seeing that it's been down for a while, I doesn't seem to be 100% yet, but I, I'm not sure what the hell's going on. But at least it's running again. If worse comes to worse, I'll just buy a new motor for it for next summer. It's like 300 bucks or something like that and for this thing it's worth it I have a lot of fun on this scooter I should see about having somebody put a 150 cc kit in it uh, you know a whole different 150 cc motor in it uh, supposedly there's a guy in uh, Milwaukee over here by me who does that and he says he could do it for you know pretty cheap he says so I, I don't know what pretty cheap means <laughs> So maybe I'll give him a call later about it or something. But we'll see if this thing works good, I'll just leave it alone. I guess uh, there's a big fire in Canada right now and uh, when I woke up this morning it was all hazy here in Wisconsin and I was like, what the hell's burning? And uh, it's uh, from Canada. I guess there's a forest or something on fire out there. I'll have to look it up. Oh, thank God that train wasn't too long. Sometimes the trains here seem like they last like 20 minutes. Come on, let's go. But I will say this, it seems like it's idling a whole lot better and you know it seems like it's idling better and I don't know it just got it just got some little quirks to it now like when I'm actually driving so I'm not sure if it's because of the transmission something's wrong with the transmission or something else it's rather loud right now too because I got the I got the pod filter on the carburetor, and when you put that on, it makes this thing really, really loud. Yeah, I'm sure you guys can hear that. Cause I know I sure can. But I'll tell you what, this thing gets up to 40 miles an hour rather easily now. It's like, bam, it's there, you know? Yeah, see, it's not even floored and we're already at like 45, so it's doing pretty good. And it's also kind of cold here today, and I think this thing really loves the cold air. Well guys, uh, Labor Day weekend is this weekend. I hope you guys have a good holiday again. Seems like every time I talk to you guys on this thing, it's a holiday. the Fox River right here that we're driving past right now but when we had that flood this was over the road over here and uh, there's a restaurant coming up here on the corner where it was just like pretty much uh, <laughs> it was pretty much surrounded by water this here uh, this place right here 
it was like totally surrounded by water when the flood happened this bridge here was underwater I guess they had the or no you know what actually I think it was this area over here that was underwater and they had it closed off right here but it, they closed it off actually a little bit before my turn to my house which kind of sucked so when that flood happened it took me three hours to find a way home but thank God I actually found a way home I uh, didn't feel like spending the night in my car somewhere on the side of the road, that's for sure. A lot of people out tonight, it looks like. Uh, we went When we went to Chicago today, the traffic was pretty crazy. I don't know if it was because... Uh, I don't know, I think it was because it was an accident, though. It was all backed up, so... If it wasn't for the accident, it probably would have made it through Chicago just fine. My brother took a Greyhound bus from Florida to, to Chicago, and I, I guess it took two days to get here. It's like, damn, that'd be a long time to be sitting on a bus. I'm like, how would you even sleep on a bus? It's got to be rough, that's for sure. Um, I don't know, this video is really short, maybe I'll add my computer room to it. Uh, I really wish I knew how to edit and make my videos more fun and cool, but <laughs> every time I download something to try uh, editing videos, it ends up being a disaster for me. I guess I just have no talent when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I apologize for my shitty video editing, but until I figure it out, if I ever can, uh, I guess that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, I used to have, I think it was a flip video camera, and that thing used to have a video editing software for it, and it actually made it kind of easy. I mean, it wasn't nothing fancy. You were able to do, like, little things in the beginning of the video, you know, and maybe, like, end credits and stuff. But at least it was easier to use, and I kind of understood it, where it seems like everything I'm downloading uh, is just really hard for me to understand, you know? I mean, it's kind of funny... There's probably some eight-year-old kid out there who could probably edit videos like crazy, like a pro right now, you know, and here I am, an adult, and I, I just can't freaking figure it out. <laughs> but good for them, though, you know. I mean, uh, someday they can start making videos and be a pro at it, you know. You really hear that that air cleaner, man. holy moly, it's so loud, it's like screaming inside my helmet. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Well, <laughs> here I am leaving my blinker on, yapping too much and not paying attention. Like, pay attention, son. This thing's a blast, I'm glad I got it running again. You know, I, I got that Vader now, and I, I don't know, it's going to be a tough decision which one to ride more between this and the Vader, you know. I mean, the Vader will be a little bit more safe for when I want to go on longer rides. So, but I'll still keep up with my Zoomer videos because I just love this thing. I think it looks cool for, you know, for a scooter, it looks cool. And, uh... I don't know, you guys should really look up some of the custom uh, Zoomer X's they got online. Those things look badass. If I lived in the Philippines, man, I would have about three of those things. They're little 125's and it's got to be fun as hell to ride one of those. I guess they say they do like 60 miles an hour. I couldn't... I couldn't imagine doing 60 miles an hour on this thing, but I, I guess it'd only be 10 miles an hour to 50, and I've done 50-something on this before. Oh, big hill. Gonna get this guy behind me all angry. Yeah, I see my camera angle's kind of messed up again. I really gotta get a different helmet. This, There's no way for me to make it straight with this stupid helmet I got. The helmet sits at an angle, you know, where I mount it, and there's no way to make it so it just sits nice and flat, you know, so I'm going to order a new helmet, I think, maybe tonight. 
you guys don't deserve crooked videos. If I can't edit them, I should at least make them straight for you guys. I guess YouTube is coming out with a new uh, uh, video editor. Uh, September 28th, I think, is when the old one's going away. Oops. Stupid horn is in a different spot than my motorcycle and my new Vader, so I keep hitting the horn all the time on this now. Uh-oh. Oh, well, there we go. Guess I must have spun the back tire. I was on some rocks, so... Felt like it was hesitating or something. day I bought a bag of uh, Frito-Lay potato chips. Oh my god, those things are my favorite. I don't know, it's like I, it was a family size bag and I ate the whole stink, or not a family size, a party size I guess they call it now. I don't know if they still make the family size or not, but I bought the party size and I ate the whole stinking thing and man, my stomach hurt all night after that, but man those chips are good. I actually was craving more when I woke up the next day. Kind of crazy how good those things are. I know my friend's dad, he eats uh, Doritos with uh, uh, cottage cheese, and that's actually pretty good too, I've had that. I never really thought of it until I was told about it, and it's pretty decent. Today, uh, when we went to Chicago, I went out to eat to a place called Partillo's, Portillo's or something like that, I guess it is. And they make like Italian beefs and ribs and stuff like that. Oh, I got their giant roast beef, I think they call it. Oh, that was so good. It was probably like a 12 inch uh, Italian beef sandwich. If you guys have one of those by you, stop there and try it. It's really good. Living here in Wisconsin, I, I think we got one maybe up by May Mayfair Mall in Milwaukee. I think that's where that's at. But. I'm not going to drive all the way out there just to get a sandwich. <laughs> Whew, getting a little cold outside today. It's supposed to be like 50, 56 or 54 tonight or something like that. And I'm already starting to feel it. Uh, they're saying something like 80 degrees over the weekend though, so that'll be nice. 86 I think they said for Sunday. Today is uh, Thursday, I believe. Yeah, today is Thursday. Well, at least for me it is. I don't know how long it's going to take me to post this video. I, the one I posted last night, I think it took like three hours to get done uploading. It took forever. Have to stop and get some gas on the way home. I really should have bought some change and washed this thing today. From me working on it, it got like greasy fingerprints on it and stuff. But maybe tomorrow it's supposed to be warm again. Maybe I'll make another video on this tomorrow. I'll just have to find something to talk about. It's one of the biggest problems, you know, when you do these things. There's not like a whole lot to talk about, especially when you live in a boring town like I live in. kind of funny you know I, I people around here ride scooters all the time but I never see anybody wearing a helmet so there's people walking on the sidewalks or something if I could give me shit you know I drive to Lake Geneva on my scooter I always get shit for wearing a helmet but you know when you're driving on the you know Lake Geneva is quite a ri ride for me as you guys seen in my last video so 
you know, it's, I feel at least a little safer wearing a helmet in case I do get bumped or something. Or who knows, you know, hit a pothole or whatever. But I knew, I do know that uh, it seems like accidents are quite common on scooters. <laughs> so, better to be safe than sorry. I grew up in this town. I remember when we were little kids, we had a party like at one of my friend's houses, um, actual drinking party. I was probably like 15 years old. Uh, and we were drunk as hell walking around the streets over here. And this was probably in the early 90s. This used to be called a Wonder Bar. Now it's called Rumples or something like that, this building right here. Uh, but uh, I remember us walking down the street over here and uh, I don't know, I, we're just lucky we didn't get stopped. If we would have got stopped, we would have been in big trouble. <laughs> Jeez. A lot of good times though. Well guys, I'm getting to my destination, so I suppose I should let you guys go. Uh, as you guys can see, ah, I left my blinker on again, Jesus. Normally I hit the thing about a hundred times to make sure I don't leave it on, and I, uh, now I'm not getting in the habit of leaving it on again. Dang it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go, and I hope to talk to you guys again maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe if it's nice out, we'll make a big ride out of it or something and break it up into a couple parts so you're not watching a five-hour video. So, but anyways, guys, I'm getting to where I got to go, and I don't know if my sister would want me having a video of where she lives, so I'm going to let you guys go. You have a good night. Stay safe. Ride safe. And have a good night.